All right, same guy, new flavor. We are playing with green, purple, Dofi this time. I'm trying to see if we can get something done with Birdcage. I feel like Birdcage was already strong in my personal opinion. Like, not strong as in meta breaking or needs to get nerfed type stuff. But it's like, hey, this is a strong card and yet... It can't, it's not getting utilized. So I want to see if it can get utilized. I want to see if I can come up with something that uh, can give it some legs in this meta. So this is one of the decks I'm working on essentially. And we're seeing how it performs uh, against Katakuri. Here we go. That We're not keeping that. We got five only this is the wonderful thing about birdcage because i've seen a few well i've seen a lot i ain't gonna lie not a few but a lot of matches and the ability to just ignore things that's what i like it's crazy just ignore it you see it's on the board we left it on the board because we don't have to think about it and one of the beautiful things i feel like the leader is also underrated um so i do have intentions of coming up with like other builds with this leader but essentially um th that ability to gain two dawn screams uh defensive events are always live so therefore play defensive events find some good defensive events and put them in the deck that's what that's what it says to me and we got another bird cage so hopefully we uh find a way to not need it to eject it from our hand essentially diamante real good with this combo sugar is also real good for this as long as there's no gidatsu because sugar's ability still works even if um she's rested but essentially you can force these uh, situations. Oh, and we gotta get one, one more. There we go. You can force these situations. But he did it smart. He didn't uh, play anything. So, okay, we can't stop that one. Mathematically speaking, we made a mistake. We were better off taking the hit. And we should have counted the Dawn, right? We're better off taking the Katakuri hit and then. Um, playing the spiderweb card because we would have not needed to dis uh, discard an extra card so it would have just been blocking one card so we get to attack for seven we get to take advantage essentially and there we go check one our leader is now stronger and they have to deal with this they just use the counter out the amante restands such a wonderful ability. So yeah, three characters on board, can't use them no more. That's it. And we could just ignore them. Really want to find a way to make this like real steady and consistent. Okay, so Big Mom hits the board. This is, I mean, it's funny because it doesn't really matter when it comes to sugar. We get the free block here. Because it's not like Big Mom can't restand herself. That's why. So we're trying to figure things out, debating about Don, whatever, yada yada. Let's see, because there is a 10 drop play. 10 drop play will stop um, Big Mom from uh, restanding. Everything else doesn't matter, just the leader and Big Mom. So I think that's good enough, right? 10 drop to prevent two characters from attacking. And then we can um, swing with Kid, reduce a Don, and keep Birdcage up. And then next turn, essentially, uh, develop queen or sugar, whatever. And we've got queen in our back pocket. We have a birdcage in hand. We got just options. So I think essentially it's just <laughs> checking Don. Yada, yada. Okay, so we're going to go with this play. This card action. Leader is now stronger.
five dollars. Because two sugars essentially, um, <clears throat> okay, keeping it up. Okay, so we're going two sugars. They want to have two blockers up. Sadly, we won't have any events. So, even if he wants to attack a sugar, anything he plays, if he wants to do another big mom drop, once again, we get to rest something, da da da. I, I want to say things look good on our end. That's what I want to say. Well, if he 10 drops, that's going to be four life. So it's going to, it's going to be more dragged out, but Hey, that's yellow. Okay. He decides to put the peril sparrow on the board and we are allowed to use two sugars. So essentially he is not going to get to use peril sparrow next turn. He was probably, that's probably what he was hoping for. And now. He shall, I'm assuming, after he calms down, attack Sugar. There it goes. Okay, because he doesn't want us blocking. That's why. That's fine. Oh, he plays his blocker. Big mom, leader, and it doesn't matter. Okay. So now we get to put more pressure, use ability. He hasn't gotten Katakuri. Yeah, that's another thing. He has not seen Katakuri. So he, he essentially just has to deal with all this abuse. I think the debate was okay. He he, he um, countered. I think there was a bit of a debate. Oh, sh attack with blockers. Don't attack with blockers. Okay, yellow. You always got to worry about triggers with yellow. So you you can't attack too much. Make sure you're controlling the board. Make sure you won't regret it. Then start attacking. Now I will say this though. Granted, we were flirting with triggers, but. That was probably the best opportunity to actually attack with our blockers because his leader couldn't do anything. But now we, I, I want to say it's better, essentially safer, because um, now we might be able to put Don on our blockers and then use them. So, Don Flamingo has two Don on him. He is 12. They got three cards in hand. Essentially, we want to take this big mom out. So that's two two Ks, and they got it. Okay. Yeah, we want to get that big mom out, and they kind of go back to not having anything they can attack with aside from a leader swing. Ooh, that's a lot of dawn. Fourteen. Take one off of fourteen. Basically, means not even a two K would save it. See, if we swung for 13, it, it probably would have been a sad story. Now we get a nice 6K swing to lead. We still have two blockers. And not, we don't have to fear that brulee. So I think that works out in our favor. So we have a very intimidating board. He has to attack Sugar. He can't play Big Mom. Or make a big mom play. Yeah, see, Don up. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, well, we rest the blocker. So essentially, he is allowing himself to. Yeah, he like more so put himself in lethal, but he, I don't know, he didn't have much left. Two life, then a blocker, three attacks essentially. We got one, two, three, four, five attacks. So he would have had to hope for he would have had to hope for triggers at this point, mathematically speaking. Okay, attack. Two cards, swing for eight. 
need both needs to be two K's and there we go. Gentlemen's uh attack. I got an on call it. But GG.